I just realized that I have to miss some fights because Homebreaker is fighting Imbot. I haven't seen Imbot before. I think he was fighting Tristan Koalas, not Tristan Koalas, so he fought uh, Osman Pat, who's playing Destroyer or have a hybrid or something like that. I missed the fight completely. Uh, I was told it was very very fast and I'm but one tool to know. And now he's fighting Harmbreaker. Uh, I have no idea who that I'm but guy is, but it's definitely someone who has been playing before. It's just a new character or name changed. I don't know, he's in 8 inches unbuffed. Who could it be? I don't know. My guess would be John Blunt or something like that. Um, uh, he's not a wise player, we can see that because he chooses to melee a destroyer and he gets... Crash again. And now we'll see um, um, Ruma, which is Sarjras versus Tristan Quellas, the original Tristan. Well, my bets are on Tristan, not only because Sarge beat me, but Sarge, you beat me only because I'm bad. And that's my fucking excuse. Yeah. <laughs> you always need to have an excuse in Dark Fall. You always need to have an excuse, and you always need to shit talk people after you kill them. That's like, you know, the general uh, rule of thumb in Darkfall. Because hate fuels Darkfall. Without hate there would be no conflicts and no action. So, kids, don't forget to shit talk your opponent. No, Hmm. Looks fairly even, but I'm still quite sure that Tristan has this. Yeah, he's winning. He got it lost, I think he got paper lock. Paper door lock. He missed some spells, but he's still on top of it. Oh, nice return with the Purgent Mist. Knowing him, I think he'll go into melee now. Oh, he doesn't have to. It's... Oh, and the head is off. Yeah, the head is off. Now we are here for fight two. Sarge Ras versus Tristan Quas. Tristan pops out his Butterhorn to use it as a cover. He did it before, so it's not surprising. Interesting strategy. It shows that the kid can think outside of the box. And now he's using the horn itself as a tool. Oh, he's back on his foot, feet, whatever. And Sarge is flying. He got hit by a nice combo there. He's getting hit in the back constantly. And I think Tristan will finish this fast. I don't see Sarge's HP, but I think he's at half at best. Oh, he's going down. One more good combo or um, melee engagement and he's done. But yeah, Tristan has this. Almost fathers for Tristan.
And now we have Captain Koku versus Sound System, which is supposed to be uh, your mom. Uh, it's the Paki brother's little sister. I don't think it's her. You can see by the movement already. I don't think she would play so confidently. But I cannot tell you if it's pure or yeti. It's hard to say. I would need to see melee. Even so, whoever is playing on this character is losing. But he can blame server luck for this. It's a good excuse. I only lost because of a server lock. It's almost over. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mascaro. Oh, there's an ambulance coming, so unnecessary. It's still alive. Where to put the camera here? I'm starting. Okay, fight to sound system versus server lock, which is Captain Coco. Sound system being Paki's little sister. Officially, who knows? I'm getting rid of surges. Let's get it started, maybe. One, two, three, go! Oh, nice long range hide -up. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, nice combo. Wombo combo, but do a disabling blow. Or a buff. That's also nice. It's pure. <laughs> it's pure. Three hogger Good flash. I think Captain ate it. Or maybe not. Still beating on. But I envy the survival bit survival bit. Okay, I cannot spell this, forgive me. I envy his survival skills. Oh that's what I was trying to say. Look! He got even! He got even he can can still kill Captemi if he's lucky, but he's not. He's not? Yeah, he's not. <laughs> Goodbye. So there's only one Paki left in the tournament. Paki Slayer wins. Homebreaker versus Evil Yeti. So, hey, stop that. I found the perfect spot, you, you see? I found a pig in the forest. Someone left it there. It's a perfectly good pig. Good for the cameraman. So we have Yeti versus Heartbreaker. Yeti being hyperactive. But I don't think he can beat Heartbreaker here.
No, finally. I, I don't remember, was there a toxic screen before? No, I don't think so. But he did throw a lot of debuffs on Homebreaker, who is chugging Panacea, but gets hit with a Sashing debuff. And knowing Yeti, he will probably try to melee him now. Yeah. It didn't end well for him. He's almost dead. And he recover from this? Well, with the help of the Persian Mist, maybe he can. But he chooses to go back to the destroyer too. Oh. Seriously, that was a quick one. <coughs> I would expect a, long, a longer fight. Yet it was careless. Good that you cannot see me yawn out here. I don't remember how many hours I have spent here already. It started at 8, I came here at 7, so... Four or five hours. Oh my god. I'm really, really tired already. It's almost midnight. And what was that? It was like, hey there, Koku. I was a bad boy. Me needs a punishment. Alright, let me spank you. Uh, uh, I actually think he, he was bugged <laughs> with stamina regeneration not happening or something like that. Good pick. Can you believe that? Perfectly good pick. And someone left it in the forest. It doesn't make me a horse thief to steal a pig, does it? In Texas I would get hanged probably. Who cares if you stole a horse or a hog? You're giving shot or hanged. <laughs> this time Yeti is doing Toxic Rains, even more debuffs, but Helmbreaker chooses to go for the Horn! Horn hero. Some nice, nice moves on Yeti. He knows how to, how to keep his distance. Blinds. Breaker, but he cannot dish any damage on him. I think he got hit a few times, but Homebreaker is without the scratch. Only that the, the horn <laughs> is about to die. I think Yeti wants to keep him on his horn, so he's trying to not hit the horn, but the Homebreaker himself instead. Yeah, the horn is still alive, you can see that. Showing some debuffs, but you can never tell if you hit the horn or the guy riding it. It's it's a very fucked up hitbox. It's hard to put those debuffs on target, especially from the front of the horn. Yep, Yeti looks quite confident now. He's probably tired from fighting the horn, you know. Less mana, less stamina, but yet again he chooses to melt the fucking destroyer. That's his trade. It's close, it's close, but one, two hits on Yeti, and Yeti is done. Evil Yeti dies, good prevails. I'm going back to my pig. What an awesome pig. I cannot believe that someone left it here. It's barely been used. Goes back okay, goes forward okay. It's turning. I have no idea why would someone abandon this animal. If 
If only I would have some magic to heal it. What's happening there? Are people getting stupid, being stupid. Look at that beauty. Look at her. She reminds me of someone dear to me. No, not my mom. What a beauty. And how is she smiling? It has half a teeth. Oh my god, oh my god. Who hurt you? Who hurt you, Piggly? Who hurt you? Let's get you out of here. Who shoot my pig, you pig fuckers? Are you a pig fucker? Yes, you are. I can see that. Are you? Maybe you. No? Shit. I don't have anything of me to defend my pure pig. Okay, Piggly is dead and I also died and I had to run from the city again and I missed and I missed Tristan King Katemi. I don't know if this was first round or the second. I'm really not sure. Fucking dickheads killed my pig. Why didn't you use the voice, Dragonborn? Because it's not Skyrim. So now it's either uh, Tristan vs. Captain Me, second fight, or Tristan vs. Helmbreaker. I'm not really sure. No one called the ambulance. They only said sent hydro. Short bro, short bro came to resurrect his dragon. Something. Mm. I think. This will be the final. It looks like it. Let me come closer. Yep, it's Homebreaker. Oh, Swingers Club. Oh, no, they are just watching from here. Mm. So, it will be Homebreaker versus Three Sanquelas in the dark and darkness. Bing, bing. And here we go! Missed that R90, but Handbreaker transferred anyway. Tristan spawns the mons to cover himself, but Handbreaker uses this mount. Let's see if Tristan can handle the horn. I think he managed to parry the few hits that he got from the mount. I can barely see anything in the dark. 
I would come closer, but I'm afraid that the retarded server police will kill me in a moment if I do. But I think I should anyway. Looks like Tristan is winning this one. Well, at this point you cannot say really because you know, Homebreaker need, just needs 2-3 hits to turn the battle completely. If he catches Tristan with the stuff out. And this can happen due to a server lock or paper door lock, whatever. Normally I don't think Tristan would make such, such a mistake, but such things happen. You can get an unlucky fizzle or some lag and he gets caught with the stuff out and it's almost over. At least it hurts. It hurts a lot. I hope you will be able to see anything on YouTube because I'm not sure about how it will look like in this quality and in this darkness. And another horn, yes we have another horn. Uh, I think it's a mistake from the heartbreaker. I'm almost certain it's a mistake. I think he knows it also by now. It's getting toxic. Almost got a whirlwind, but Tristan changed his mind. He saw that he's not coming range. And he gets on the horn again. Just hoping for you no know, lucky turn and few hits from the horn that would end this fight because he had no other options. It was probably with all healing spells on cooldown. So Tristan wins this without breaking a sweat. We're in for the fight too, of course. But unless Heimbreaker gets lucky, Lucky like as hell, he's not going to win this. What the fuck is going on? Ah, uh, it's Captain, he's probably mad because he's out of the turning. So he's killing random people. Yeah, it looks like it. Such a weak character. <laughs> That's it for Yeti. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's all kill each other. So mad. So mad. Hurrah, hurrah, yes, yes, I'm a retard, yes, let the world know. Okay, Tristan is ready, what about Helmbreaker? He doesn't have to cast a lot of buffs, <laughs> so he should be. He's still getting his stamina up. Oh, no. Captain is mad again! He, he hates fat people, that's why he chosen to chase the dwarf. about to go down. Wait a second. Why was Tristan casting Unborden or... I don't know, know what the hell just happened. All I know is that Helmbreaker is disabled. Not that he's, you know, a cripple or something, but 
he, he got hit with the saving blow. And Tristan is going for the fast kill. It's not easy to get a destroyer so heavy dressed, so low, so fast. Oh my god. It's really not fucking around. It's, it's not an easy fight for the Helmbreaker. He, he's trying to be aggressive, but he knows that he got hit pretty hard. He needs to get close and get some lucky swings. But he needs to transfer from time to time when he has a chance, because he is going down. Oh yeah, he's going down fast. Trisan is half HP already, and it looks like he got this. One wall of force and it's over. Let me see, let me see. It looks like it's over already. No, Helmbreaker's still alive. But Tristan is almost full. Oh, and disabling blow. Whoa. This is over. This is over. Yep. Tristan Cross, the best PvP -er, or maybe dwarf or whatever the best is of UA. A U. European server, simply. Uh, what the fuck are they doing with this dead body? Oh, look, it's a zombie now. No, it's dead again. Okay, thanks for watching. See ya on Aegon.